Right, welcome back. I am The Average Golfer and alongside me is Lewis Johnson, head PGA professional here at Hollywell Golf Club and maybe more importantly, my newly appointed head coach or at least that's what I'm titling you, Lou. We've got um, a few weeks ago, we went out on the golf course here at Hollywell and Lewis took a sort of overall assessment, evaluation of my game and the problems that I thought I had. I wanted him to take a good look. What viewers are seeing now is some of the videos that you took from the day and can you explain what the sort of first phase is, if you like, of what we're going to have a look at? Yeah, so we're going to have a look at your backswing. So we, you, based on what you were saying, you've got a two-way miss. Yeah. So we're having a look at that. And the, the variables are really coming in your backswing. Okay. So we're going to have a look at your backswing. And the reason is, is um, you, you're very sort of on the inside, sort yep. of low and on the inside there. Um, and then your hands then move sort of out towards the ball. So, okay. Uh, that's a varying amount every time. And it's causing a two-way miss. Yeah. So uh, people can see um, on the videos we're overlaying there. Yeah, yeah. Moving towards, but they move when they move a little bit. It keeps the club on the inside, and then you sort of trying to play a draw. Sometimes missing it right and left, and then when they come over the top, then again two-way miss um, from two really different sweet, um, club paths. Yeah, um, absolutely. So we we nearly really need to sort of put you in a position where one you, you feel comfortable, but it's a little bit more neutral. And um, let's see if you're still making that move, and then what happens if you are. Um, but yeah, let's let's try and get you in a in a sort of um, one one backswing position and okay. go from there. Well, all I can say is good luck, Lou. I've been doing this wrong for thirty five years, and uh, we're going to try at least an attempt to correct it. So we'll move over to this mat. I'll get that club in my hand, and it's over to you, Lou. So what we're going to do, mate? We're going to get you set up. Yeah. We're going to get you to the top of your backswing, and yep. we're just going to hold it there. I'm going to just going to explain what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's just have a bit of a loose then. So for me... Just have a few practice swings, mate. You're fine. Well, I would, I would feel like I'm sort of somewhere like that, is it? Yeah, perfect. So do that again for me and just start. Cool. So, so what, what you're going to do there, that's, that's your normal. So it's yeah. like low on the inside. Yeah. And then you're going to make that move. Going yeah, this way. which yeah. I've seen yeah. as well. You're going to yeah. be a bit further with movement, but you're going to make it move it this way. So if you make it a, a little movement this way, yeah. your, your club's going to come down. Yeah. You're going to be on the inside here, yeah. club travelling to the right, so you know, people would call that sort of into out if you like. Okay, If you get to the top here yeah. and you make a big move this way, yeah. if you've got some of those videos, you make a big move with the hands that way, yeah. then the club's going to come outside then. Yeah. So outside the line and come in. across almost. So, so with both of those, you can hit it left and right, <laughs> yeah. different curvatures. So yeah. this is what you're struggling with. So what we're going to first do is have a look at how the club should move uh, very short and very neutral okay. uh, and get some good feels through the impact area get you striking the ball properly and then we're going to build it back up so it doesn't necessarily feel like we're just attacking the faults what I'm actually trying to do is neutralise everything and make it feel more comfortable for you Okay. so that's the biggest thing is I want to give you something that you can actually take away to the golf course so uh, my address position yep good setup. so what we're going to do I'm just going to have a look here Hmm. Uh, when we take the club back, okay, club parallel with the floor, okay, yep. we want ideally the club drawing a line through towards your left pocket here. Okay, okay yeah, does I get that. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah it does, so yeah. So people can see that that club is inside the line of the ball, in no way have we sort of taken it out that way. Okay, so you're going to take the back club back, nice and neutral here, keep that Same in that pocket. Yeah, and then as you're going to come through, same thing on this side, yeah, take so age of body, yeah, brilliant. So that's still looking at the left pocket there. All that right, okay. Good? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And you notice how this hasn't broken down. Yeah. There's been no um, sort of compensation. No, no, the, I, um, yeah. Back. Okay, so just have a few practice swings with that for me. How does that feel? Uh, well, it feels fine. I mean, obviously, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slightly a controlled alien movement, but in terms of... The one thing that I've got, I mean, I almost... It, feel, it should feel more different. Oh, it feels totally side. different. I mean, even on that sw that swing on there, the I was yeah. almost felt like I was tempted to go in a little bit more inside. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. checkpoint of the pocket is quite a, quite a good... Um, I mean, again, I don't know which camera's perhaps got that, but that seems to be in the right position there. There you go. Should we hit some? Yeah. Perfect. Every time I lengthen it, you can see me wanting to go a bit more inside. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is the key. We, you know, we could go, all right. That's the position we want to change. Let's just change that. But I think what, what happens with people is they think that that position is going to solve everything. What I'm trying to teach you here is it's going to help the backswing, definitely. Yeah. But it, you're going to hit some shots now. 
and it's going to give you a better um, feeling and, and it's going to create some feedback through, through impact as well. There's no point really in improving someone's backswing and they make the same... Um, yeah, yeah. Sort of through the hitting area, they make the same move. I'm just going to switch yeah. our audio out, sorry. It's generally going to make the... Um, generally going to hit a, a similar shot, isn't it? Okay? Right. So back to there and through to there. And if you want to go a little bit further, then I'm okay with that. We're just going to have a look. We're going to, probably going to hit three or four of these. How does that feel? That felt good. Good? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Don't worry too much about where the ball goes. No, no. We're just going to have a look at some club data in a minute. I just think like with, with, with any lesson, um, or what you, when you try and solve these things yourself, which I would do over years, you know, you, you, you're making up stuff. What I've got here... The pocket thing is a good checkpoint for me. Yeah. That's what I you like. You can stop. You can, it's something to think about. Yeah. But you can stop and sort of double check it, can't you? Yeah, I like that. Good. That seemed a lot better. You could tell that was, again, um, I, I knew from the, from the follow-through it was a lot better where it felt different. That ball was not leaked out to the right. And neither is that. Well, it has, slightly, maybe a tad. It's getting overconfidence. That's okay, though. I'm looking at sort of your club path and your swing direction numbers. Yeah. There. They're pretty neutral, mate. Are they? They're pretty good, yeah. That's okay. what I'm looking for. So the face angle's a little open, but we're not. I'm not too worried about that in the minute. Strike's good. Position looks better. Right, okay, so a few sort of half swings hit there, but Lewis, you've got all of some data and you're just going to go through it and explain what that means, both good and bad. Yeah, so we've got shot seven there, absolutely perfect. You know, it's a little short swing, so people can have a look at your speed. Speed's down, but, you know, decent distance. And all we're trying to do is neutralise sort of the, the swing direction and club path. So on the top row there, on the right, uh, you know, as close as we can get it to zero, it's nice and neutral, but 2.2 uh, and 1.9 there, nicely from the inside. Um, and then bottom left, face angle, face angle again, really neutral and people can see um, the ball flights nice and straight. And if we go to shot 10 there, which to you didn't feel as good, but I was like, you know, that's a good swing, you know, we're sticking with that, is people can see their club path and swing direction nice and neutral. Um, don't worry too much about the changes or the difference there. Um, didn't feel right, ball went um, off uh, to the right as well. But if you look at bottom left here, face angle, 6.8 degrees open. So obviously that ball's gonna go out to the right. Yeah. You know? Um, but I'm saying good because what we're actually trying to do is focus on the club path, swing direction numbers, um, make sure they're as close as we can get them to neutral and consistently neutral. And when um, you say neutral, you mean either coming in with a, yeah, I suppose, well, a we're shot about shape. to. We see they can go to the left and can go to the right. They yeah. can be negative. They can be positive. I'm, I'm not bothered. I just want to know what they are and neutral them because they're. I don't want too many variables. Okay. And, and in theory, neutral straight if face angle is zero as well yeah yeah right? so yeah in a simplistic it, it, way yeah so face angles irrelevant at the moment we're, we're just the ball can go left or right um as long as it goes straight there you know um there's too been too much curvature hasn't there you've been sort yeah. of fading the ball drawing the ball um i, I know we, we're, we're trying to the, the purpose of that drill is to neutralize those numbers and um, once we build it up in a minute um into more of a full swing half swing full swing if the ball if you, know, if you can't control the face angle then we'll have a look at it but you know, when I give people drills, they're for a specific reason, and you were doing exactly what you were meant to do there, um, and the numbers that I was looking for were, were, were bang on. So it was Perfect. Good. I'm doing well. So, so the next bit then maybe is, uh, I don't want to jump ahead here, but you're talking about in the, perhaps extending that swing a little bit. That's exactly what we're going to do now, yeah. Right, Lou, let me get into this full swing then. So, um, so far, I'm sort of... I'm sort of around there, am I? Perfect, is that right? and happy with that, where yeah, that is. Yeah, it feels Brilliant. fine. So the next position we're going to get into is this position, okay? So we're going to move where the left arm's parallel with the ground, so comfortably straight, mate, you don't have to kind of lock that okay. up. There you go, nice and relaxed, okay? And then the right elbow is going to be is sort of soften up or be mm. bent, but not tucked in, so there's going to be a okay. little bit of room there. And then your reference point for this one, left arm straight, right bent, but not tucked in, is club if we could draw a line there straight through the club straight into the ball to the ball okay, okay. So we're creating an l shape from front on uh, but from this angle your reference point there is uh, straight to down. the ball okay to the ball that butt to the yeah, ball yeah yeah absolutely straight yeah. down to the ball there happy with that yeah right, i mean so show me that position. to there so wait a minute to there what's that like it's it's different mate does it feel different yeah it feels different yeah um so i'm to there 
Is that pointing at the ball? Yeah, yeah. Does that feel uncomfortable in any way? It doesn't. No, it's different, but I mean, I'm not uncomfortable. I can, okay. I can get there. Do you Fair know what I mean? Fact. I don't know if I can do that less robotic, but yeah. I mean. So when, when we spoke about here, here to here, yeah. right, what we're going to do, I've uh, got to explain it fully. From there, okay, yeah. what we want to do is as you come down, okay, it, it really wants to feel like that sort of first position, that's real, a nice and neutral thing. Okay. Here. And then as we come through here, okay, perfect. So you're rotating your body there. So see there, now your right this arm straightens. is comfortably straight. Yeah. yeah. And we really want to try and get in some position where this club is is beyond the hands there. Yeah. Okay. And it, ideally somewhere near, we can draw a line there. Back through, to that. Through the ball. Okay. okay. So try that. A few practice wins there. Is that in the right position? Looks pretty good from here. Yeah. And through. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels fine. I'm not. Uh... It's obviously different. That's, that's exactly but, uh, what I'm looking for, yeah. But yeah. Should we try some shots? There we go. I mean, come on. Don't have that. Strike's really solid, isn't it? Right, okay, lesson ended, and uh, I can tell you, well, I can, I can perhaps give you my assessment, but you go first and see how we've got on. Yeah, so all we were trying to do at the beginning, where we showed you the, the sort of old backswing, we're just trying to simplify that for yourself and make it nice and consistent. So the first part, we just, not only will that help the backswing and get you in a good position on the way back, but that little drill of just hitting shots will also give you good feedback and a feel for what impact should be like. You know, how do we come down into the ball? Um, and you really get a good sort of indication of whether you're doing it right or wrong um, from, from a good position. And then all we did was it um, lengthen it there um, to what some people would call a half swing you know, or a three quarter swing um, and really put you in the right position, give you another reference yeah, yeah. point and make it consistent. So the big key with that is we haven't tried to come improve everything all we're trying to do is focus on that one bit that we recognize was causing a lot of variables yeah um, in the shots absolutely um, and make things more consistent and really give you something that you can take out onto the course mm. so well i think my assessment would be uh I, th I love the fact that i had checkpoints because uh when we went into sort of full swing I was still, it was quite easy for me to just to reference the kind of uh, the pocket drill and also that position at the top of the backswing. I could sort of keep that all still in mind. So that was a uh, really good reference point. The strike of the balls that I hit after we went to full swing, really solid, yeah. felt good. Yeah, I think that's the, where, where I put you there is that the, I wouldn't say, they wouldn't suggest that to your full swing. We yeah. probably will take that back. Yeah. Um, but the way you were sort of extending it around there, you can take that swing to the course. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Work but on we that. will explain that a little bit further. You can take that a little bit further yeah. around. In the, well, I think absolutely. Sense. We've not cracked the nut. We've gone uh, whatever it is. Uh, first hour's lesson. I'm more than happy with the progress that's been made in that. I can take that, like Lou said, out on the course. And then it's back to the, uh, well, whatever the next step will be, we'll find out, or you'll find out, as I will do, in the next lesson. So, as ever, thank you for watching. Thank you to Lou for all his help in this video. Don't forget, feedback down below, um, comments down below. Let us know what you thought of these videos. Don't forget to follow Lewis. We'll stick his social media things, because he's so... <laughs> love a bit of active, social media. So active, active, that's active the word. Um, but, as ever, we thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you all very soon. Come on, man, get in. Lovely. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am the Average Golfer and alongside me is Lewis, the head PJ professional at Hollywell Golf Club, but more importantly, my new coach. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. It's, that wasn't, it's, that not, wasn't laughing. Laughing. it's not a laughing matter. Right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> my new coach. <laughs> 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 ah.